Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we're going to be doing a 12 by 12 layout using Candid Moments collection. It is the featured collection this month at Close to My Heart. We are going to be using um, some of this pap paprika cardstock. I went ahead and made my own photo placement holders. I decided I was going to go with three four by four photos but I, I decided just to use two of those now you can see a little light blue embellishment up toward the top right of your screen i basically made most of what i am using uh, i don't even know if it's really considered embellishment myself i used the card stocks that the coordinating card stock that goes with candid moments to cut out a little file tab see the little file tabs right there there with the stamp and thin cuts candid moments card making there's this little file tab in there so i went ahead and cut those out with all of the all of the colors i had and then i used the stamp candid moments scrapbooking stamp it has a lot of circles in it like wonky circles see how those are kind of like that pattern paper i'm mimicking that pattern paper well then i um, stamped it with some versamark and heat embossed it with the ranger white um, embossing powder so i went ahead and made all those before we even got on screen you can see i am using that circular pattern paper down at the bottom that is from the candid moments collection we're just using probably about three and a half inches down there and then I'm just going to put these file tab embellishment pieces on here see I wanted the circles on these embellishment pieces to kind of match the circular paper that's down at the bottom we are also going to use a little strip of that at the top as well I'm going to lay these out in kind of a way I think I might like to have them and brush them back off and then bring them back again we're just going to stack them up it's not actually going to be um, two rows or three rows is going to be like a wonky two rows, <laughs> maybe two and a half rows is how it ends up doing. You see, I moved them out and then I'm just going to switch them around anyways as I put them down. I really, I think these are really cute. And in fact, when I'm doing my cards for my recent um, orders, I will send out a personal card and usually put a little bit of something in there. I think I think I have three cards I need to send out still, and I think this is what I'm going to put in there, or some more of these file tabs I think I'm going to make and put those in there. It's really, really cute. Um, there's also a heart die. There actually is two size heart dies that are with the Candid Moments card making stamp and thin cuts. Um, I did punch out a couple of those or die cut a couple of those and did the same thing where I put a circle stamped the circle thing on the top of the heart and then heat embossed it those turned out really cute but that's what I'm going to be putting in my cards <laughs> I send out as a little happy right now okay so the reason I'm going on and on about that is because I left a lot of this in you guys don't really need to see it I will end up putting them down with just a little thin strip of Tombow mono adhesive because I'm going to come back with my foam dots and pop some of them up randomly just so I can have a little bit of shadow there when I ended up putting my photos in there or my photo placement holders in there, I thought they would just sit on the top of the line, but I do end up tucking them down kind of underneath. You'll see that coming up. Here's where I am popping them up with um, my circle dots, foam dots. Um, on these ones, I, could, I didn't know where my small ones were, so I just took the big ones, cut them in half, and it's uh, like a small one. <laughs> you know, it's a little long and skinny. So I do, that's what I do to pop some of these up. This is so cute. I love this. I can't wait to uh, print photos that I can actually put on here. I think it is so, 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 so cute. I'm not tooting my own horn or anything. Toot, toot. But I love this layout. <laughs> I think it is so cute. All right. Eventually, I'm going to get to these uh, photo placement holders. Here I am going to cut off a half inch strip of that papaya cardstock. I think this is the light side of it. And I am going to use it to kind of, you know, join the file cards with that bottom pot of that bottom pattern paper. See, here's where I was talking about I will end up tucking some of those in. I was just going to have them sit on top, but how cute are they tucked in? I know I love it. None of the file tabs are actually stuck to the photo placement holder. So a photo can actually be, you know, slipped in there, which um, doesn't matter to any of you guys because I'm keeping this and putting photos on it. 
<laughs> so we go ahead and commit to that papaya strip. Now, some of my stuff might be a little bit wonky. I have not found my uh, close to my heart mat yet. I had it and then I took it when I went to scrap with Kathy and I brought it back. I think I brought it back. I don't know. Can't find it since then. So we're going to kind of mimic some of those file tabs up at the top. I am using the saffron color and also that pretty, pretty light peach. And then we're going to go ahead and sit a matching strip to the pattern paper that was down below. Kind of tie that in up there as well. The embellishments on here are going to be pretty pretty basic. We'll go ahead and pull some out. I end up using a journaling card that I will fussy cut out. That card right there, I will cut that frame out. I end up using some of the brown compliments because when I cut that frame out, or that journaling spot out, I did keep the brown on it. So I needed to tie in more brown. So I do pull out the wood compliments that are from Candid Moments. And I'm just going to use a couple arrows. You can see right now there's already a um, sticker up at the top. That's where my camera stopped <laughs> filming. That one says special day. And the one I'm popping up down here, it says so happy and it is an arrow. Now these are from the sticker sheet that you can get with Candid Moments as well. So that special day is just a tiny little tiny sticker, but that's what I'm going to end up using as my title on this. I don't think every page needs a huge title. I just don't. I think this works just fine. So those two arrows sitting down there by themselves look kind of funny. So I do go ahead and take this little tiny sticker that was on the sticker sheet. It says love and I'm going to stick that on top of those arrows. These are not close to my heart. I think these are a hip kit club, those dots that I just pulled out. I remember I had saw, seen them on my desk earlier, so I was up there rifling around trying to find them. I did find them because it does have that paprika color on that dot sheet, and I thought, oh, those would go perfectly. I didn't have really any other small embellishments that I you know, wanted to use on here. And that was pretty blank, you know, with this, just those wood pieces. So I am going to use the whole row of, of these, um, puffy dots and <laughs> put those down around the page. I will finish off with some splatter. This is from, um, it's called night from Dina Wakely's gloss sprays. Um, kind of my spots might've went a little awry, especially right here on so happy, but you know, I still like them. I don't think I'm going to stop doing them anytime soon. You never know. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Check the links down below. If you'd like to support my channel, go to BeckyBidding.ClosetomyHeart.com. Bye, guys.